With Hispanic Heritage Month beginning today, ABC is airing a special called The Latin Music Revolution, a soul of a nation presentation tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern. And we get a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. Roxy Diaz sat down with some of Latin music's biggest stars to talk about the tra trailblazers and pioneers bringing Latin sounds and rhythms to music lovers everywhere. Mm. Latin music is pop culture. We are mainstream. Without the trailblazers, the OGs, the pioneers, we wouldn't be where we're at today. And in fact, this is why it's very important for this generation and the future generations to pay respect to these trailblazers. When Desir Nas performed Babalu on national television in I Love Lucy, which was the most watched television show in the United States in the 50s. It was really groundbreaking because you had a man who spoke English with an accent. He was Cuban. And the fact that audiences were loving this music. <laughs> Celia Cruz was this phenomenal singer from Cuba. My biggest inspiration growing up in the Latino community was Celia Cruz. Hands off, it is what it is, punto. The only black Latina, Cuban Latina, that I could see on TV that I could relate to. Like, one day I can be like her. Tito Puente is, is a legend, right? A legend of representing our culture here and in Puerto Rico, the New Yorkians. Tito is the godfather. Which he is the king of timbal. For those that don't know, Sheila Escovito, lovingly known to the culture as Sheila E. She's an amazing singer, percussionist, who came from a family of music royalty. Born and raised in Oakland, California. Uh, upbringing was kind of crazy um, because my dad, the legendary Pete Escovito, <laughs> Um, growing up listening to my dad play every day, it was all about music, always about music and family and food. The Glamorous Life did change my life a lot. <laughs> I was like nine when I saw Gloria Estefan taking over the world with Conga, and I, it got me so excited and I felt so related. I felt represented. Emilio and I were our biggest cheerleaders, but every time we would tell them, we want to do this, this is a really cool mix, it was like, eh, if you really want to break through in a market that's not a Latin market, you got to lose the percussion, you got to lose the horns. Some guy even told Emilio, lose the girl singer, they don't sell. I always hoped that people would recognize good music, whether we were there or not. Mexican-American Linda Ross that came to us at the early age of 18 and soon became a rock and roll legend. In the late 80s, few were bold like Linda. She pushed back against the norms and came out with a Spanish album, Canciones de Mi Padre. Linda Ronstadt, 1987, selling over 2.5 million copies of Canciones de Mi Padre, I think just says it all. It all makes sure people figured out I was Mexican, especially if they started talking bad about Mexicans. But I think Mexican Americans have been made to feel less than and been made to feel invisible. Because I was the most proud of the mariachi stuff. It gave me the best sense of satisfaction and the best pleasure. Nice. And you can see more of the Latin Music Revolution, a Soul of the Nation presentation tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern, right here on ABC and tomorrow, of course. And it's safe to say we'll It'll all be, be watching. Hulu. Yes. Yeah. And well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.